Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I first of all wanted to say a huge thank you to all my new subscribers and um, second thing is I am using a new filming setup. I am using a different camera so hopefully it's as good if not better than my previous setup but um, do let me know what you guys think. Um, so yeah, one of the first videos that I made was a top 20 beauty products under £10 video and today I am making the high-end version. So I'm just going to be showing you guys my favourite high-end products. So I'm definitely someone who does a lot of research before um, investing in a high-end product because obviously they are expensive and you want to get your money's worth. So I will read reviews upon reviews upon reviews to make sure I'm getting a worthy product. So um, hopefully if you guys were in the market for you know possibly buying these products maybe this will give you the push that you need to actually buy it so yeah this video isn't sponsored by the way just just to let you know so first up I've got a liquid foundation this is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation and it's in the shade 4c1 outdoor beige if I can get it to focus it doesn't want to focus but um this foundation is honestly the best foundation that I've ever tried um, it is a really heavy coverage so I don't like to use this all over my face because I have normal to combination skin but I think if you have an oily complexion I would definitely recommend this. I like to use this on my t-zone because that's where my foundation tends to wear off the fastest. Um, one thing I have noticed is that it does tend to oxidize a little bit so it does get darker over time but it's not that noticeable. Um, yeah, and I actually like to use this under my um, drugstore foundation because this is a little bit too dark for me now but I wasn't going to go out and buy another one because they're really expensive. Next up is my powder foundation. This is the Bare Minerals Matte Powder. Um, it's just a loose powder but um, and it comes with like a little rotating thing that makes sure that you don't empty out too much product. What you're supposed to do is empty it onto the lid and then use a buffing brush and honestly this gives you the most like beautiful finish. I would honestly go and test this out. I don't know what shade this is in because it's all worn off at the back but next up is my favorite blusher. So this is Peaches by MAC and it's like a little coral toned um, blush that's really natural looking. I don't like really obvious blush, I go for really subtle looking blush but um, I used to use a drugstore blush but it got discontinued and I was so upset because I couldn't find it anywhere but this is a pretty good substitute and yeah so that's my favourite blush. Next up is my favourite bronzer. This is Hula by Benefit and um, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of this product but um, it is actually really complimentary on my skin tone so if you weren't sure whether this was going to work for darker skin tones, um, definitely try it out. My favourite eyeshadow palette is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So I got this recently as a birthday present and it is honestly the most beautiful palette because the, the shadows are just all so like neutral and it's like perfect for natural looks like if you're someone who doesn't really like to go for blues and pinks and purples and greens like this is definitely the palette for you and it smells so good. Um, if you're in the UK and you're wondering where to get it you can actually buy this um, on the Debenhams website and I think it's about £39 but honestly it's so worth it because you can literally use every single colour in this palette and they're so pigmented as well like I've actually that's what I've got on my lids right now not that you can even see that but um yeah so that's that. Next up is my cream contour kit by Laura Mercier. Now um to be honest with you I don't really like the two highlighting shades because 
don't know, I just, I just don't get it, but um, the other three shades definitely make up for it. Um, yeah, so if you have similar skin tone to me, definitely check this out. It's definitely a little bit more tricky to find contouring products for Asian skin tones that don't make you look muddy or anything, but um, I would definitely recommend this. My next contour kit is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Powder Contour. Now this isn't available in the UK but um, this middle shade here is definitely a close dupe to Hoola. So this is the shade that I use the most for actually contouring so um, like I said if you can't get your hand on this Hoola is definitely a worthy substitute. Next up is my favourite makeup remover. Oh my god you guys. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover for lids, lashes and lips. This stuff is amazing like I can't even describe it's um it's basically like an oil and a solution that you mix up like you shake it up and then um you just use it to take off your makeup and obviously your eye area is really sensitive and you gotta be really gentle when you're taking off your eye makeup because it's the the one area that's most prone to like wrinkles and aging and another thing that I noticed after using this product um, because of the oil, I feel like it made my eyelashes grow even more. Um, I used to just take off my mascara using a makeup wipe and I would tug so much that my eyelashes would actually like come out. And um, ever since using this product, like, like not only has my eyelashes stopped like falling out, but um, it's actually started to grow even more, which is amazing. So yeah, like I would definitely go for this product because it doesn't hurt to take extra care of your eyes. So next up I've got the Benefit Professional um, Primer. If you're someone who suffers from like large pores, I would definitely go for this. It does work 100%. Definitely, yeah. Just, yeah. Next up I've got uh, the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. And um, this is my favourite ever mascara in the history of mascaras and I am a mascara junkie. Let me just show you the brush. So it's got bristles on the tip as well which helps you really reach those like tiny lashes on the inner corner of your eye. Yeah like they definitely make your lashes look really thick as well as long. I also love the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. Um, I don't like using the Benefit primer on my eyelids because I don't think it's as effective as the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, this honestly makes my eyeshadow last like the whole day. This is the travel size version. I didn't want to get the full size version just in case I didn't like it and I'm not too big of an eyeshadow wearer anyway so it would have been a waste for me to get the, the full size but really love this. And last up I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It, this is also the travel size version because it's the same with the primer potion. I wasn't sure whether I was going to like it or not um, so I got the travel size. It does make my makeup last pretty much all day. So um, yeah. That is pretty much it for my favourite high-end products. Do let me know if you try any of these products out. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think of them. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!